Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Keith and your friend, producer extraordinaire, James Curtis Thomas, with brand new 19-year-old UK country artist, Liv Lawrence, in the studio. Say hello, everyone. Hi. Hey. All right. Well, we just wrapped up a track with Liv called Riverwalk, and it was released this week. And Liv, how wild has this experience been? Because you've been getting like FM radio play all over the place yeah. just within days tell us about it yeah it's been really amazing so i've had um, bbc introducing essex playing my song and i had phoenix fm and that was really amazing because it's just amazing being live like thinking you can't mess up and you've got to talk about the track how it came about and i've got some um radio stations in europe actually playing my song I saw that like Luxembourg's yeah. national radio stations playing the track. Yeah, they're playing it. Total, totally nuts. Yeah. Now, w one of the things, like James, you've had a lot of artists go through this BBC introducing pipeline, and it's been uh, massively successful for a lot of huge names that people don't realize kind of came up yeah. through that. I know they were saying that like Ed Sheeran had tracks go through it, and Florence and the Machine, they were saying had tracks go yeah. through it. But Liv, what's really impressive with, well, with what the two of you have done is that for those that aren't familiar with BBC introducing in the UK, we've got like a national radio system. So uh, in America, it's very different where you have lots of local stations and each city and town has, you know, three different country stations and two different rock stations. But here in the UK, there's only a handful of stations and they're just broadcasted simultaneously syndicated around the whole country. Um, so what you're hearing, you know, in one part, eight hours away at the, the of scotland you're, you're pretty much hearing the same thing on the same channel mm -hmm. and what they were saying is with this with the bbc introducing platform it's what the main radio station uses to showcase the biggest talent in the united kingdom and they took three three months off live yeah, what did they three say months, yeah. three months off it's every saturday it's one hour so you think about how many there's 65 million people in the uk how few people can make it in that one hour time slot once a week to showcase the best of the best of the unsigned new and upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. And they had three months off. And I think they were saying there was like 27,000 song submissions in those three months. Yeah. And you submitted it this week. Like you, when did your song come out Monday or Tuesday? Yeah. It was literally like two days before it was released. And then so, it was like so there was already 27,000 songs submitted. Mm. Yours comes out, nobody knows this, comes out on Spotify yeah. like five or six days ago. Yeah. And four days later, you jump the queue from tens of thousands of submissions and you are the headlining song wrapping up the one hour time slot. Yeah. Holy smokes. That's so nuts. Yeah. Oh man, and the British Country Music Association's gotten behind you. Yeah, I on it. Of, like, live sessions. Already, I mean, obviously we're streaming. Everything's being done streaming yeah. right now. But that's tremendous. Now, I want to talk a little bit something with James here and this guitar that you're holding because this was featured on the track. If you're listening to this, guys, head over to Spotify um, and and type in Riverwalk, Liv Lawrence, L I V Lawrence, L A W. R E N C E. Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right, and you will see her latest release, Riverwalk. But this guitar featured prominently, prominently on it, and this is a very, very special guitar played by a really cool guitarist that James, you have a really good relationship with. Oh, with Tom. With Tom, Big yeah, Mac. Tom. What What was it like recording with Liv and with Tom on this track? Well, we started writing off the writing the track, um, and then I cobbled together some guitar chords. And I'm not great, and. Uh, yeah, I, I rung up Tom. Tom I've worked with before with a band called Aaron Buchanan and the Cult Classics. Uh, and now he's working with uh, Bootyard Bandit. Oh like, man, uh, they're great. They're getting national radio yeah. play all over the place on Planet Rock. Yeah, yeah. really cool. So rang him up. He was more than happy to come down. And uh, yeah, he, he played the, the main guitar. Dave uh, Mustaine. This, is, this yeah. is Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. This is a platinum-selling, Grammy-winning artist. Uh, one of the most famous people of an entire genre of music. And this is a USA custom shop master built Breedlove, built by Kim Breedlove. Beautiful sounding guitar. And this featured prominently on your track. Yeah. Sounded beautiful, Liv. Yeah, so sounded absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
what what was it like being in the studio? Because Liv, when you came to us, this was like your first time in a proper studio. like studio. Yeah, you know, it was so amazing, um, like networking and um, actually doing a songwriting session because I just came in with the lyrics and then it's some little guitars. It? Yeah, yeah, so like listen to references and then pick apart other people's yeah. songs and then create something that's yours. Yeah, it was it was a really good experience. And also working with like other pro musicians i mean tom who who did uh i mean he did banjo on the track yeah, he, played banjo, he did guitars he's he's Slide. he's yeah, yeah. played i mean he's toured all over europe he's played like the biggest stage festival stages here in the uk what was that like working with him yeah it was amazing he was really nice as well and obviously he's really good at the like, guitar <laughs> he's obviously. really good and yeah it was just really cool seeing um him and james like figure out all the guitar parts and what would work and yeah everything. And i always think it's nice bringing in other people when i think just bringing in the best of the best of the best yeah to do something rather than can't go wrong yeah, you know it's uh and, and he's brilliant I yeah think he what is. he brings to the table yeah. especially that slide part that he uh come up with yeah at the beginning uh, yeah he didn't realize that was going to be the main feature yeah it's really cool <laughs> so Liv, i've got a couple questions for you mm -hmm. what can you tell the people watching this about like the experience of transitioning from bedroom musician and open mic night to becoming a professional recording artist and taking your career yeah. to the, like that was a big jump for you yeah. you had to make a lot of sacrifices yeah. what tell us about that and the value you you saw or didn't see or did see in that well i think obviously the main thing is working and networking with new people and instead of just releasing it and then thinking oh it's released that's it there's like so much more steps you need to take after releasing it that you don't i didn't realize because i just release it and think it's out everyone yeah. can see it but it's no like, just like chucking your hook in the ocean yeah so. you need to carry on and i've learned so much about networking and who to send it to and how to release it and i think that's one of the biggest things is not just releasing it and leaving it releasing it and carrying on the work and doing more it takes a, it takes a team of people mm -hmm. and professionals you know it's yeah. not just like your friends and your family but you need people that have connections that have experience because otherwise you're just playing the lottery if you just yeah. record something and just upload it and hope someone whips out a wand and picks me like yeah. that it's just it's just not how things work um but you've obviously stepped up your game considerably yeah. in the past year and now you've got a few more tracks ready to release and yeah. you've got management behind you and you you're You've got some of like the the big organizations in the country music scene here in the UK starting to get behind you too. Yeah. So it's re we're really excited for you. Um, aside from that, any any parting words, any advice you want to give to all the the new people starting out and um, and and wanting to get into music and thinking about oh should I get in the studio? Should I work with the producer? Or yeah, well, I just think just take the big step and do it, and just think the money that you put into it at some point it's gonna you're gonna come like you've got to do it you've got to put the money in to get a reward out of it and just never give up and just just do as much as you can when you release it just promote it as much as you can sort of thing absolutely yeah i mean it's like they call it the music business for a reason and like any business you, you've got to invest in yourself yeah if you want to get signed as well you're asking for like a major business partner to put major investment in if you're not willing to invest in yourself, why would a stranger be willing to right. invest in you? And and you've done a tremendous job uh, over the past, you know, few months here, powering through the whole coronavirus epidemic and still having a release and still getting it all the radio play it's done. It's just really, really fantastic. And we're excited for you. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to be a little wrap. We wanted to introduce you all to live and show you that this amazing guitar was featured on a really cool country track that you can go listen to hopefully uh dave gives it a little listen yeah. and maybe his daughter electra will do some co-writing and collaboration with you because yeah. she's she's a uh budding country star out in nashville as well so yeah all right guys well take it easy hit the like button hit subscribe and follow Liv lawrence on all of her socials can you tell us what they are you got instagram yeah instagram is Liv x lawrence underscore and facebook Liv lawrence youtube Liv lawrence everything else Liv lawrence. search Liv lawrence you're gonna yeah. find her no problem yeah. and definitely check out the the track on spotify and the music video on 
YouTube. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, say goodbye to everyone. Bye. Stick around. More videos coming up soon.